Hi, my name's Hugh, and I work for SRI Instruments, and we make gas chromatographs for a thousand different purposes. One of the popular purposes today is for measuring cannabis. We can measure cannabis potency, we can measure the residual solvents in cannabis concentrates, and we can measure the terpene content of cannabis flower or concentrates. We can also measure cannabis edibles all of which are increasingly important in today's world. So these are our choices of equipment. We have a $5,000 GC we call the Model 420, and it can measure cannabis THC and CBD, and that's really about it, which is most of what people want to do. The nice thing about the Model 420 is that it includes a built-in hydrogen generator, which is this little apparatus here on the side. So the hydrogen generator allows you to make hydrogen from just distilled water that you buy at the grocery store. So you pour in the, the water into the hydrogen generator and when you turn on the GC it makes hydrogen enough to run for all day on just that little bit of water. So then we make a, a slightly more powerful GC called the Model 310 that also includes the built-in hydrogen generator. The Model 310 is a kind of a compromise between the Model 420, which is $5,000, and our more professional model, which is $12,000 and up. So the Model 310 is $10,000, and it lets you do pretty much everything that you can do with the professional model, but also includes the built-in hydrogen generator. The limitation, again, is that it won't run for 24 hours without some kind of human being coming along and filling up the hydrogen generator with water, but otherwise it pretty much does everything that you would want. Then we have our professional model GC. The professional model is the 8610, and it can be equipped with a hydrogen generator if you like. We have a $3,000 hydrogen generator that can run for a month on a gallon of distilled water, and this is a good choice for a professional laboratory where the GC is going to be in use more or less constantly. So this GC, the model 8610, can come in several different versions. One version has one column at a time. It's, this particular column is the column that would be used for separating the CBD, the THC, the CBN, and all the other cannabinoids. But if you wanted to measure residual solvents or terpenes, you would have to take this tube out and replace it with a different tube. So that's not a big deal. It only takes 20 or 30 seconds to do that once you've done it once or twice. But we find that most of the malfunctions in this equipment occur after changing the tube because something goes wrong in the tube changing process. Either it's too tight or it's not tight enough or something gets plugged or it leaks. So some of our customers in an, in an effort to reduce the um, time spent in figuring out what we did wrong when we changed columns, we put more than one column into a GC at one time. So this GC has three columns installed in the GC all at the same time and three different places to inject the sample. So there's one place to inject the sample for cannabinoids, there's a second place to inject the sample for residual solvents, and there's a third place to inject the sample for measuring terpenes. So this obviously adds to the cost. This GC with the three different simultaneous analyses runs around $22,000, so it, it adds money, but it reduces the possibility of of annoying troubleshooting situations when something goes wrong when you change the tube. So that's really the story. There's, there's one other little thing and that's that you don't need a hydrogen generator to run the professional models. You can use a cylinder of hydrogen. Now a cylinder of hydrogen like this you can either buy the cylinder and own it outright for yourself or you can rent a cylinder like this from the gas company. That pretty much every city has a welding supply business that's happy to rent you a cylinder of hydrogen. It usually costs about $100 for the cylinder and then they charge you 25 or 30 cents a day for the rental of the cylinder. So there's enough gas in one cylinder to run the GC for about six months or maybe even all year depending on how many hours per day you're using it. So it's much cheaper to have a cylinder but of course you have to have a cylinder and that makes some people uncomfortable. It's really not that dangerous but hydrogen is a flammable gas so if it, if it worries you to have the cylinder, that's why we make the hydrogen generator available because the hydrogen generator really doesn't have much hydrogen at any one given time. It really just makes a little bit of hydrogen on demand 
and we have the really the two choices. We have the three thousand dollar one, and we have the one that's built in to the GC, which comes for the, the price. So those are our choices right now. We're always looking for new products and new choices to have, but this is a pretty wide product range that should cover pretty much anybody's need if they're in the cannabis testing business.